Hi guys, Josh here, AK Beards and Books. Today I'm doing the music genre book tag. Hope you enjoy. So guys, I'm sure as you guessed from the name of the tag, this is all about music genre based questions that are then linked back to books. So without further ado, let's begin. Question number one, pop. What established book gang would you love to join? Now, like most people, my first thought went straight to Harry Potter, Harry and the Boys, you know. But I've been reading It recently as part of my Stephen King month, and I think The Losers Club, the way they're written and their camaraderie together is just absolutely brilliant. So I think I'd have to join The Losers Club. I know I'd probably die because of Pennywise, but I didn't, you know, I'd enjoy it with the gang. So, Losers Club. Punk, a book under 200 pages. Now, I haven't read any books under 200 pages, I don't believe. But I am planning on doing a buddy read for The Woman in Black with Marina Ray next month. Uh, and this is just under 200 pages, so this is the one I choose. Question number three. Pop punk. Transport a character into another book. I've gone for a slight loophole here. Guys, you know me. I'm a fan of the old loophole. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Sam and Dean Winchester from the TV show Supernatural. Now I hear you say this is a TV show, it's not a book. But Supernatural have got comics. Comics are books. So I'm going to take Sam and Dean Winchester and I'm going to put them in It by Stephen King. Because they're the king of monster hunters. And I think they could probably sort out Pennywise quicker than the Losers Club did. And they'd probably save a lot more people on the way. That's my logic anyway. Next up, Grime. A book that deals with population hierarchy. And for this, it will come as no surprise that I had to fit Game of Thrones into one of my answers. If anyone hasn't read Game of Thrones... One of, the, one of the best features about the series is the fact that George R. R. Martin writes so many different cultures, so many religions, so many places, whether that be towns, cities, everything is done really well. But also, the hierarchy system is done really well. The whole point of Game of Thrones is people fighting for the Iron Throne. Some that are highborn, I mean, well, they're all lowborn, but some that have been highborn their whole life and some that have had to fight to earn their place at the high table, essentially. It does a really good job. Number five, relationship advice, an established couple who are not compatible. This is probably going to be quite a common one for this answer, but I've gone for Hermione and Ron from Harry Potter. I mean, you could probably pick any of the couples in Harry Potter, really. Harry and Ginny don't work either, but Ron and Hermione, they just frustrate me. They don't work, they don't sue each other. It was just, it shouldn't have happened. It just, it seems like it's there just for the sake of romance. And for me, it just doesn't work with how either of the characters progress through the story. So, Hermione and Ron. Number six, rap, a long book that you flew through. Now, I've literally just put it away, so I'm not going to get it back out. But as you know, I'm a massive, massive fan of Game of Thrones. I talk about it in most videos. You're probably fed up a bit now, in all honesty. But the first book is over 700 pages. It's not far off 800 pages, if memory serves me correct. And I think I did it in about four or five days. I was just so engrossed in the story. So, Game of Thrones. Number seven, Metal, a misunderstood character who's actually a sweet bean. And for this, I have chosen the most difficult book to show in lighting, really can't show you the girl of all the gifts by emma carey there you go now if any of you have read the book you'll understand what i mean the main character of melanie although is quickly understood by us as the reader by other people within the story she is treated as well a monster essentially and she's just a really well written character a story i really really enjoyed and one i recommend you check out eight melodic hardcore a book with a beautiful prose and for this i have chosen annihilation by jeff vandermeer now this book it's very well written. The world that's created is very pretty and very easy on the eye if you've watched the film or on the mind as you're reading through it. But I have no clue what this is about. This is probably the most confusing book I've ever read in my life. I read the entire book and I enjoyed it, but I don't know what happened. I, if you know, let me down in the comments. But this just made no sense to me whatsoever. Nine, EDM, a book with a colourful cover. And for this, I have chosen the book of Strange New Things, which is really difficult to show in lighting because it's all gold, but it's really pretty. I don't know what the story's about, I haven't read it yet, but it's got a great cover. 10, Country, a book that deals with religion. And for this, I have chosen Raven's Gate, part of the Power of Five series by Anthony Horowitz. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, this is one I've spoke about a couple of times. So it's a story about a teenage kind of runaway, tearaway boy who is put in a essentially a foster home in a rural town. Little does he realise at the time the town is overrun by a kind of doomsday end of the world cult who wants to bring about the end of the world through releasing demons and devils called the Old One. 
Um, it's a really, really good story. It touches on a darker side of religion that most books don't touch on, which is why it's one I've picked. It's a really good story. K-pop, a book or manga originally written in another language. Now, I haven't got the book I chose for this because of those, they're really high on my TBR. I haven't actually picked them up yet, and that would be The Witcher series by Andrew Skripalski. I'm a big gamer. I'm a big fan of The Witcher series. They're books I really want to read soon, but I haven't had the chance to as of yet, so The Witcher would be my pick. Reggae, a book celebrating different cultures or marginalised characters. Now, I realise I've already chose this for one answer, but it'd have to be Game of Thrones again. I really couldn't think of anything else. I'm sorry, guys, but Game of Thrones has such a, a variety of characters. None are treated as well. None are treated by the writer any lower class than the others. Obviously, story takes different twists and turns, but George R. R. Martin does a really good job, whether it's man, woman, highbrow, lowbrow, it doesn't matter. They're all just as important to the story. Number 13, Death Metal, a dark or disturbing book. And for this, it has to be something by Stephen King. I've gone for it. I haven't got it with me as I've left it in my car like a moron. But it is a very dark book. I mean, I personally enjoy Stephen King's writing style. It's the... I'm trying to read more Stephen King. And it is the probably the, the one that I've read so far that I can think... I do understand why people maybe aren't into Stephen King. Personally, I enjoy it. I love the darkness of the story. And I think it has to happen with the character of Pennywise. But it would be my choice. Next up, Indie. Two books with a similar plot or covers. And for this, I've chosen two thrillers that are on my shelf. I don't know how well you can see them with the lighting. But essentially, it's just people standing in the woods. Must be a common thriller theme, I suppose. People die in the woods a lot in these books, don't they? So... 15. New Metal, a book that uses more than one element in its storytelling, and it will come as no surprise that I have chosen the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series. Again, this is one that I've ranted about on multiple occasions, but for those of you that haven't read it, the book is also quite famous for its photos. So originally, Ransom Riggs was going to do a photo book, so he had all these photos picked up, essentially, and he used those to help him sort of develop the characters that he was going to use in the story, which I personally find really interesting, but the photos have also remained in the book. So as well as the story, you also get to see the characters. Acoustic, ship a plot into one sentence, and I have chosen Forever in a Day by Anthony Horowitz. This is the origin story of how James Bond becomes 007. Next up, Emo, a book that made you cry or feel all the feels. Something I've touched on a couple of times is that I'm not a big crier in books, surprisingly, but The Knife of Never Letting Go is probably the book that's had me the closest to tears. There's one character in there that I can't really talk about with giving away serious spoilers who dies, and it just had me seriously emotional. It's definitely a YA series I'd recommend anyone try, and Patrick Ness does a really good job with the writing in this book. If you haven't already, take a look. 18. Unassigned, an indie or unreleased book. Now, I haven't got any unreleased or indie books at the moment, is on a answer. So the one I would pick would be A Map of Days, which is the fourth book in the Miss Peregrine series, which isn't released yet. Comes out early October, I believe. 19. Dubstep, a book that's hard to categorise. This one's quite tough because, let's face it, books are all in their set genres. But what I've done is I've picked one that I think crosses multiple genres and I've gone for The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. For those of you that haven't read The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, or I think it's called The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle in the States, this is a murder mystery whodunit book, but there are sci-fi and thriller twists as well. Now, you'd expect thriller twists in a whodunit, but the sci-fi twists are what really catch you out with this book, so it's definitely one that bends genres. Final question, guys. Question number 20. Can it be pigeonholed? Switch the genre of a book and explain. Now, what I want to do for this one is... I don't know how well it's going to work, but I want to... Change the genre of It by Stephen King. As I mentioned, it's one of the most recent books that I've read. It's obviously a massive horror, but the thing that people don't talk about as much, at least that I've heard, is the development of the characters, especially the young characters in the Losers Club. So I want to change It from a horror to a coming-of-age contemporary. Because those people, they do some growing up, right? If you haven't read it, do it. Like It's dark, but it's such a great book. Guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this one. As I mentioned, this is an original tag by a relatively new channel called Cats and Camera. I will leave a link to her channel below. Please make sure to check her out and let her know I sent you. As always with these videos, I will tag a few channels as well. So I will tag my book your best friend, Read with Marina Ray. I will tag Kate at Chat to Kate. And I will tag Dane over at Dane Reads. I know these are all guys that are into their music, so hopefully it's a tag they'll enjoy doing. I really hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you have. I will meet you down in the comments, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.